Guys, I'm Dan the Wolfman, and uh, my website is thecombatsystem.com. On YouTube, it's catchstreetsuit.com. I'm going to share with you the 13 best, actually light enough, small enough EDC pistols that you could have on you all the time that are available right now. 11 are subcompacts under 25 ounces. Most pistols are over that. Under 25 ounces that offer the most capacity. For the subcompacts guys, 11 of them, they're going to have at least 9 rounds in gun of 45 or more, and 11 or more rounds available in 9mm. I'm also going to share with you two uh, micro or backup guns. And guys, in my opinion, a backup gun should always be kept on you, preferably in the offside front pocket. Muscle memory will have it always there, even when that's the only gun you can carry in a non-permissive or work environment. And uh, if you do have your subcompact on you guys, that back up there, that does a lot of very good things for you, like being able to have your hand on your gun when someone confronts you or when you're walking to and from your car in transitional spaces. Anyway, guys, I'm at number 13 is the Ruger LCP or LCP2 at a spilt 9.4 or 10.6 ounces, respectively, with a 2.75 inch barrel in 380 caliber. 6 plus 1 or 7 plus 1 capacity fits great in there in the Nemesis holster. And number 12, the CM9 by car. Same 6 plus 1 or 7 plus 1, but in the much more powerful 9mm. Um, very comparable in size, as you can see there. And in the footage I'm providing right here, the LCP is only a bit smaller. You may want the CM9 for the cheaper or compatible 9mm ammo. Um, that's a choice you're going to have to make depending on if it's more backup or more a primary. Um, either way, everyone should own one, if not both, of these pistols. Uh, I do like to carry the uh, Ruger original because it's smaller and lighter than the LCP2 and because I can carry eight in the gun and six in that Nemesis holster right there. So I got 14 in my pocket at all times, which also works good as backup enough ammo to handle if that's the only pistol i have on me hopefully to get through a situation and also quite a bit of extra ammo um you know if you're carrying a subcompact and one extra magazine for that some compact so um guys both great pistols uh, if you do get any car pistol you should leave that slide lock back for a couple of days first and hand rack it about 300 times first that will break it in just like you do with fns because it has a strong spring either way guys both fantastic cheap pistols that may very well may save your butt or on a budget or a first time buyer you got the taurus g2c i may not recommend other taurus but this one has been proven to be pretty reliable if you put at least 200 rounds through it and 25 hollow points through it like you should with any pistol no matter the brand name so if you're really low on budget this can be had for 200 even 180 bucks on the holidays now for the top 10 subcompacts, 20 to 25 ounces, 9 in gun of 45 or 11 or more 9 millimeter. We got the Smith and Wesson 9C in this bad boy, three and a half inch barrel, only 24.7 ounces, kind of the first of its kind, really hitting that perfect size. We can do 12, 15, 17 round magazines. Pack mag I just got, gonna be hard to find those for a while. And uh, a 17 rounder with an X grip adapter. So I'm shooting it with my new 15 round mag. Let's see if I can do a uh, failure drill, top Mozambique, bottom Mozambique. The Wesson 9C with a 12 plus two, plus two McGar. You just gotta sand it down a little bit. Pinky still sticks out a little bit, but it's actually helping me keep control, keep the muzzle down, and uh, rapid fire, it seems. I'm shooting the hottest. And at number nine is the HK BP9SK. Good pistol, but it's a little bit fatter and a little bit taller for the 10-round 
capacity it comes standard with compared to say it's Walther cousin but it certainly looks good with a gray frame i really like that it has the mag release as you see there a little bit different unless if a b version came out with a thumb release overall a good p pistol just the dimensions like for smaller hand people it's just a little bit too wide it's maybe a little bit tall for the 10 but i certainly love the 13 round magazine option something i wish Delter would come out with coming in at number eight is a glock 48 glock 48 is just 1.1 inches wide and it is 4.17 inch long barrel 20.74 ounces you can also get the glock 43x but that's two ounces lighter which most people really can't shoot well really can't handle the recoil stuff like that and the shields and the xds's of the world's at 18 ounces you get up to 20 ounces you'd be able to handle a lot better i like the longer sight radius 10 plus one rounds at nine millimeter uh higher velocity so you got your plus p rounds going out of that um 124 grain plus p you know you're pretty much good to go and uh, they might come out with 15 round magazines for it as well Guys, coming in at number seven is the FNS 9C with a 3.6 inch barrel and only 23.4 ounces, 12 plus one or 17 plus one, nine millimeter capacity. And uh, guys, it's truly one of my favorites. I love the sights. Grip angle is pretty good. Aims a little bit high, but in self-defense, that's probably a good thing. And um, overall, just pretty good trigger, great sights, good capacity, great for the weights. The FNS 9C. Questions FNS 9. Uh, basically loved it. Did 24 shots, mostly combat shooting. Um, five yards, three yards, and uh, I did three slow shots, 10 yards that were in here. Uh, guys, 24 shots. It looks like I had 23 all in here, and I was doing um, and and one there. So 23 and one, 24 shots. Uh, plus the two up here. At five yards, I did uh, two motion beaks. Bang, bang, bang. Double tap in here. Bang, bang, bang. So that's perfect. Uh, Coming in at number six is the CZP10S. And guys, this should turn out to be basically a better version of the Smith or FN9C. Same size, three and a half inch barrel, but this is optics ready. It's got a front night sight, big orange dot, beautiful black serrated rear. All carry pistols should come that way with a front night sight, big dot, black serrated rear, and it should have a better trigger. So overall, I expect good things from the CZP10S, especially if you want to play around with red dots and uh 24.4 ounces so this one comes with a 12 round magazine hopefully you can uh find some kind of plus two mcgar base i think it should work maybe with landing like the 9c does hopefully you can get some pinky extenders uh sleeves and and things like that in the future number five is the a-rex rex delta i'm really excited about this pistol it's glass 19 size four inch barrel but get this only 22.2 ounces people have reported even being less 21.7 21.8 ounces comes with a 15 round and 17 round magazine which i love now if it would only come in an le version with a third 17 round magazine and a front night sight then I would definitely buy it, but I'm definitely considering this one. It supposedly has a good but unique trigger with some interesting staging. I wish I could get my hands on one. Uh, I might just have to buy one and, and find out. So should this be my next one? The A-Rex Delta, two ounces lighter than Glock 19. This offers the most capacity to weight ratio that's out there. And at number four is the XL. And yes, that's the SIG P365 XL. And it's only 20.7 ounces with a 3.7 inch barrel. Comes in 12 round capacity, but you can also get 15 rounders for it. They're about to ship. You can see a picture coming up in a second. So, um, you know, this is a very interesting pistol. It's also supposed to be a tad bit wider, 1.1 inches compared to 1 inch. If that's true, I will personally like it better because I have extra large hands. So, um, the 365 already, uh, guys, I'll show you footage of that. 
in a little bit. It comes with great sights, a great trigger. This is going to have a flat trigger as well over the standard 365. And number three is the Walther PPQ-SC, guys. One of my personal favorites is sitting right next to me right now. At only 21.2 ounces, 10 plus 1 or 15 plus 1. And boy, it balances really good with the 15 plus 1 in it. Great for the hip that way. 10 plus 1, great for shorts, cargo pockets. Uh, in the front pockets, not the cargo pocket. Um, but anyway, the PPQSC is a great, accurate pistol, guys. And watch my PPQSC versus 365. Watch my other videos to talk about the size difference and I even throw an LCP comparison in here as well. Check out that video. Not going to do everything today. Huh? Whoa, bro. Hey, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to bump in here. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to bump in here. I'm sorry, man. I'll buy you here. I'll make it up to you. I'll buy you. Whoa! Excellent. Number two is the Glock 30 SN 4588RP, just under 23 ounces, 1.27 inches wide, 3.77 inch barrel, which is a good length to get reliable expansion plus P hollow points. This was basically the brainchild of LAPD SIS members who, you know, take out multiple violent felons. And, uh, Talk to Glock. Glock said, hey, we can take a 36 slide, throw it in a, on a 30 SF frame, and it worked. And then they started producing them, just needed a different slide stop, higher velocity speed. Uh, but basically, guys, this will get it done. 10 plus 1, you can get 9 plus 1, you can use the 13 plus 1. So as far as so-called firepower and capacity for weight, the Glock 30S is hard to beat. I don't mind the rear bucket. I would throw on a front night sight, like a cap or something. And, uh, you know, this could be it with the 365 XL, with the 30S, or with the Rex Delta. Which one should I get next? Guys, let me know your thoughts. I don't recommend 45, especially lightweight, for inexperienced shooter, guys. If you're inexperienced, if you haven't competed, you haven't shot your whole life, if you flinch it off, you're not an excellent shot, stick with 9mm. If you are very experienced, then you're experienced enough to make that choice what you prefer. One winner for value and older guys like me is the car CW45, just 21.7 ounces, only one inch wide, but you can make an eight round act mag fit, so it's nine rounds in gun, guys. And uh, the CW45 is quite a value as long as you know how to break it in properly. And uh, I really enjoy this pistol, but really any of the pistols in my video. Like I said, with cars especially, cars and FNs, really, you want to lock that slide back for one or two days. You want to hand cycle at least 200 times. I think I got like 330 or so. I've done workout routines of uh, cycling it 100 times in a row. And then even on the last little bit um, that goes a little bit farther from lockup. Let's talk about this trigger. Okay. It's a double action, lightweight, five pound double action, striker fired, not hammer fired gun. So very, very unique. So, uh, you know, especially you skinny people thinking about appendix carrying, this is only an inch thick. The nine millimeters are only 0.9 inches thick. And, you know, the safety is the heavy trigger. Not heavy trigger, but long trigger. So long, 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 but smooth, kind of stacking up in weight. And there's the wall. And there's the brake. 
Here's the reset. It's a long reset, which I hope I don't mind. And I think at 45, I won't mind a nine millimeter, uh, you know, because of, because, because of the time to get back on target because of the muzzle uh, flip, if you will. Um, I don't think I'll mind as much. Uh, maybe a nine millimeter I would. I fired the CM9, the smaller pocket nine before. This is the intermediate size. So long, 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 but light and very crisp, very smooth and break. You can see where I got it from and a very good deal on, on this right now. There's where big old 45 looks like. I believe more important than caliber in the caliber debates is proper ammo selection for your barrel length. Um, so guys, six plus one, man, is that enough? No, not really. So what you do is you get a Rock Island Armory or a ACT mag. They're really made by ACT for Rock Island Armory nowadays. You get an ACT mag. You might want to take note of where I got that. And look, it's basically the same height as the stock 6 plus 1 because of that base plate. And now it's 7 plus 1. So I got this, and uh, he even advertised that, it, that a lot of people were using this. Now, I took a lot of research on the car forums before I decided this purchase. I expect 99 to 100% functioning, not only um, reliability-wise, but slide lockback with this magazine. I've hand-cycled all the uh, most of these magazines twice through with rounds. I expect 99 to 100% reliability with this, at least once it's broken in, the pistol in general. So now I got... A really nice package of eight rounds of 45 pretty good pretty good I would prefer I would prefer eight plus one so this is also an act mag you might want to try McGar mags we'll see you need to watch my videos and see how it goes in the next few days shooting it now it's A plus one. And now I'm really pretty comfortable with nine rounds of 45 or 11 rounds of nine millimeter. That's kind of where my comfort level is. I would prefer 11 rounds of 45 or 13 rounds of nine millimeter to feel totally comfortable. But, but nine of 45 or uh, 11 and nine millimeters, kind of my comfort level. And that's different for everybody. Believe it or not, I thought I would definitely pocket carry with the, uh, with that one and I still may but actually I can pocket carry this with the eight rounder in and eight plus one nine rounds um, and in the shorts that I'm wearing Walmart cargo shorts and the nemesis holster will get to full shoulder I'm just doing slide focus and instead of this instead of this I'm doing this and the way that these sights work that's giving me a pointing reference actually for point shooting I think I'm gonna keep practicing that I think for five yards and in, this is going to be a point shoot type of gun for me. I'm definitely